As an athlete, Shaq was, and still is, simply larger than life, both on and off the court, and so is his bank account. You've probably heard the horror stories of NBA players going broke just a couple of years after they retire. In fact, about 60% of them go broke within five years of retiring, but not Shaq. With a net worth of about $400 million, Shaq definitely did things right when it comes to managing his money. Still, you have to spend it on something, and with that kind of dough, your options are pretty wide open. Welcome to NBA Zone, and in today's video, we'll be looking at some of the most notable things Shaq has spent his money on. Of course, there will be cars and houses, but you're still in for a surprise or two on the list. Before we get into that, make sure you're subscribed to us here at NBA Zone and that you have your notifications turned on so that you don't miss out on our latest videos. Now, let's get started. Blowing through $1 million in a day. Shaq wasn't always smart when it came to managing his money, and no story shows it better than the time he blew through over $1 million in a single day. Back in 1992, when he was just 20, he signed an endorsement deal worth an even $1 million. He went straight to the bank, deposited in a checking account, and started writing checks left and right. He got a $150,000 Mercedes-Benz for himself, one for his dad, another one for his mom, and a bunch of diamond jewelry, some TVs, and to top it all off, he paid off the debt of their family home. Life felt great for Shaq. That is, until he got a call from the bank manager a few days later to inform him that he's $50,000 in the hole. He called Shaq in for a meeting and told him, I've been following you two or three years. Love your career. You're probably going to be a fabulous player and make a lot of money. But you know a lot of you guys, when you're done playing, don't have anything. I don't want you to be like that. I want you to take a look at this. That conversation was a huge wake-up call for Shaq, and it prompted him to seek a business manager to make better financial decisions in the future. Had it not been for that bank manager, who knows how the future would have turned out for the big Aristotle. Franchises Shaq absolutely loves to invest in restaurants, especially fast food. At one point in time, he owned as many as 155 franchises of Five Guys. That was equal to 10% of the company's entire franchise portfolio back then. He sold more of his stake for a nice profit, he still owns franchises of other restaurants like Krispy Kreme and Auntie Anne's. But the investment he's most personally invested in has to be Papa John's. A couple of years ago, the company and its leadership were rocked by a scandal involving racism at the highest levels of the company. The new leadership offered Shaq a spot on the company's board of directors, but he wanted to go all in and fix the issues he felt were plaguing Papa John's. So, he not only agreed to become part of the board, but he also invested in nine restaurants in Atlanta and became their brand ambassador to usher in a new era of Papa John's pizza. He earns around $8.5 million from Papa John's alone every year. 24-Hour Fitness Believe it or not, Shaq doesn't base his investment decisions primarily on the money he will get out of them. He wants to invest only in the brands he believes in. According to the stories, Shaq started to like 24-Hour Fitness during his days with the Miami Heat because he worked out there with a personal trainer during the offseason. In a chain of events completely normal for Shaq, he started exploring the possibility of becoming a part owner, and he did. Shaq reportedly owned as many as 40 gyms, and he invested a lot of time to make sure that each and every one of them were up to his personal standards. Cars If you're a star professional athlete, a flashy car or 10 will pop up on your shopping list sooner or later. You might be surprised to hear that most of Shaq's car park doesn't consist of sports cars, and the reason for that is super simple. It's really hard for Shaq to fit in them. Most of his cars are larger luxury vehicles, such as Cadillac DTS, Ford Expedition, Jeep Wrangler, Lincoln Continental, Cadillac Escalade, and a Lincoln Navigator. There's also a Lamborghini in there because why not? But just having a fancy car isn't enough for Shaq. They need to be customized to his liking. The employees of the famous West Coast Customs claim that they have customized over 30 cars for Shaq, adding a Superman logo to every one of them and increasing the amount of legroom inside. Birthday parties. Athletes can spoil their kids on a whole different level, and Shaq's no exception to that. The Sweet 16 birthday parties for his kids were everything you imagined they would be and more. Renting out the entire roof of a Hollywood hotel for a party? Not a problem. Bringing in famous rappers for entertainment? Why not? Expensive gifts? Oh yeah. His daughter, Amira, got a Mercedes G-Wagon for her 16th birthday, but her brother, Sharif, got it even better since he got a Lamborghini and a custom Jeep Wrangler. The gifts easily cost Shaq deep into the six figures, and rumor has it, each party cost him around a million dollars. Tech Stocks Shaq is well known for his investment in tech, and he owes a lot of his success 
to a specific mindset. In his own words, I heard Jeff Bezos say one time that he makes investments based on if it's going to change people's lives. And once I started doing that strategy, I think I probably quadrupled what I'm worth. While he has a stake in a number of tech startups, his biggest investments in tech are probably his stocks of tech giants, Apple and Google. The value of his investments have skyrocketed over the years. But the most impressive part is that he somehow managed to invest in Google before the company actually went public in 2004. At that time, a single Google share was worth just over $100. Today, that same share would cost you over $1,600. His tech investments usually pay off big time, and great off-court decisions like this is what lets him spend a million dollars in a single day without having to worry about it. Spoiling his teammates Back in the days of the Lakers' early 2000s dynasty, Shaq was known for his generosity towards his teammates that were making significantly less than him. Mark Madsen, one of his former teammates on the Lakers, recalls how Shaq bought him a car one day. Such acts were not rare for the big man, who often gave his teammates other kinds of gifts as well, such as expensive shoes. However, the biggest story is probably the day he took his team shopping and bought a Rolex for every single player on the team. Winning three NBA titles in a row probably played a part in how generous Shaq was, but he still spent well over a million on his teammates, which is worthy of respect. Florida Mansion Large mansions are something that you would expect a celebrity like Shaq's status to have, and you would be right. He owns a couple of houses, ranging from relatively modest family homes to a $20 million mansion in Florida. He paid just $4 million for the property back in 1995, and it has everything he could ever wish for. A 95-foot long outdoor pool, an indoor tennis court, a huge 7,000-square-foot indoor basketball court, a 900-square-foot master bedroom, and a 17-car garage. If that sounds like a lot, get ready, because we're not done yet. Since it's a lakeside property, it also has access to a private pier and two covered boat slips if Shaq ever feels like going. The property was recently put up for sale for almost $20 million, and you can see just what kind of luxury Shaq has access to at LiveLikeShaq.com. Vacations Following Shaq's divorce, the court documents that became public record revealed some of Shaq's spending habits in more detail than ever before. What caught the eyes of many was his vacation spending. With the amount of work he has to do, it's almost no wonder that Shaq spent as much as $110,000 a month on average on vacations. His favorites include cruises and trips to the Bahamas. His love for cruises caught the eye of the Carnival Cruise Company that named Shaq its chief fun officer and handsomely paid him for it. Shaq even went diving with sharks during the 2018 Shark Week. For the first time in Shark Week history, a shark actually managed to get into a cage, and it was Shaq's cage. Fortunately, things ended well, since not even the sharks wanted to mess with Superman. Acts of Generosity Shaq isn't generous only to his teammates, but also to ordinary people he's never met before. It ranges from smaller things such as paying for someone's laptop at Best Buy, or buying shoes for young players who can't afford them all the way to buying a new home for a paralyzed boy's family. A 12-year-old boy was paralyzed from the waist down because of a bullet wound, and he couldn't be released from the hospital because his family didn't have a wheelchair-accessible home. When Shaq heard the story, he jumped in and bought the family a brand new home that was wheelchair-accessible. But he didn't stop there. Since the boy's mother quit her job to take care of him, Shaq decided to help them buy furniture for their new home and help them with their mortgage payments. That's it for today's video. Which one of these has surprised you the most? Let us know down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.